Once toddlers like Lucas, who is now 20 months old, reach grade six or pool prodigy level, they inevitably start doing play swimming where they pop up for breaths, thinking that this is more fun so they can see where they're going. Use the information from this video to explain the stage to the parents. Actually, the fact that he can do this at 20 months old shows what a strong swimmer he really is. If he had a different teacher, they might think that he's not as good as he actually is because they might not let him do this. Yeah. And they think, oh, he's not rolling. So, so what would you like to tell our smart fish teachers about uh, what we do when kids start doing this? Uh, well, I like to, if I can, give them extra time after the yeah. lesson. And at least at one point in the lesson, maybe at the end, let him do that for a second. Yes, and that's exactly what I'm doing because I already gave him a horizontal rollover method. And if he lesson. makes a mistake, I can correct it. If I'm not there to correct it, he might actually not know how to get out of trouble if he does get in trouble because he's never learned how to swim that way. We taught him some rollover. Right. And now he's trying to swim a different way. So he might make mistakes because he's. It's like, you know, when they learn to walk. If he's uh, due for a mistake, we want him to make a mistake on our watch instead of at another pool. And we can tell him that you can roll over if you make a mistake. Yeah. That you don't necessarily have to roll over anymore, but you might want to when you get water in your mouth so you can rest on your back. Right. So we need to explain to the parents that this is not wrong. It's not what we teach, but it's going to happen. Play swimming. We don't teach play swimming because they learn how to do it on their own. They play. Right. 